are the words you used to describe our weather earlier that we don't get to use often here? Brisk. Oh, yes. I was going to go chilly. Oh, yeah. Well, that too. Cool. <laughs> but brisk is a really All good of that. one. Brisk is a good one, Tony. <laughs> brisk, crisp, the old rhyme, don't they? And we take you back outside right now over towards Lake Door. We have uh, a fantastic setup for tonight. Nice little reprieve from the summertime heat for a change here in Central Florida. Of course, we love the warm weather down here, but it's nice to get a break every once in a while. Satellite radar shows northwest winds here uh, funneling in the cooler air already down to 53 in Ocala still right around 60 61 in the metro area it's a little bit cooler as you head up towards Palm Coast down towards Palm Bay in the uh, middle 50s right now and the dew points are in the upper 40s and low 50s meaning that there's still room for these temperatures to drop overnight tonight in fact we think we're going to fall to about 52 to 55 here on into Orange County out the door come 7 a.m. Seminole County about 53 to about 54 degrees from Lake Mary back towards Chuliota over towards Maitland and Sanford, uh, up towards Astor and Lake County, back towards uh, the coast there in Volusia County, Ormond Beach 60, Daytona Beach, uh, at least the downtown area, right around 55 degrees. Off to the north and west, we head, look at Marion County here, middle and upper 40s out the door tomorrow morning. Villages are going to be right around that number, 49.50. Over towards Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Celebration, Campbell, Point Siena, 53.55. Over towards Vieira, 56. Rockledge, you're at 57. Titusville, 57, 58 should about do it. So after a cool start, look how nicely we rebound by Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures approaching the 80 degree mark, but not quite getting there. The reason why we're starting to warm up, High pressure sliding to the east of us. That means we get an onshore flow of air off of those relatively warmer Atlantic waters, and that'll start that moderation trend. It's not going to be a big warm up this week, but we're going in a warmer direction. Keep in mind, a normal high for this time of year should be up around 85 degrees. We're running uh, upper 70s to near 80 in a few backyard thermometers. We take a look at the golf forecast uh, for tomorrow morning. Looking spectacular. Afternoon, spectacular. Have a fun day with your, uh, your foursome out there. Attractions forecast, Volcano Bay. Uh, looking perfect at noon. A little, a little bit warmer. Another beauty by the afternoon tomorrow. Coming in and near 80 degrees. Future cast shows a good looking day for the first day of Biketoberfest. Friday late, a front arrives, couple showers with this one. Doesn't look like anything significant, but back to Biketoberfest here. Notice the temperatures tomorrow afternoon under uh, an abundance of sunshine, middle 70s. Plenty of football Friday night. The Bulldogs of the land taking on the Titans University there. Uh, look at those temperatures, 70, 75 degrees. Couple sprinkles around, no big deal. And then game two. The Merritt Island Mustangs taking on the Rockledge Raiders. Temperatures here 76, 72. A couple of isolated showers. No big deal. Front cranks up, pulls away. Gorgeous weekend weather now with another high building on in. That's great news for the track shack race over towards the University of Central Florida. We've got a two miler and a five miler. 7.30 and 8. Weather couldn't be any better. Tropically speaking, we're going to keep an eye on Invest 94. May make a run at the northeastern Caribbean here. Or tonight, we can see a little developing area of thunderstorms on the northwest quad latest computer models now hinting at again the northern windward islands we'll keep you posted on that seven day forecast here we're back in the 80s thursday and staying there through the middle of next week darren's in next with a look at sports